And this next story will have you asking, how could anybody be so cruel? Families looking to adopt puppies for companionship during the lockdown say they ended up getting scammed. I just wanted a dog. Carrie DeVoog and her family were thrilled when they found this bull mastiff puppy named Athena for sale online. It looked like our old dog that we used to have. They say the website looked legit with glowing references, so they wired $850 to the breeder and excitedly waited for their new puppy to arrive. The girls got so excited. You know, they were really very giddy and happy and they couldn't believe they were getting another puppy. and. And the puppy would be here tomorrow. The dog was supposed to be flown from Oklahoma to Atlanta and then to Newark, New Jersey. Everything was set. They say the shipper called asking for a $1,500 insurance fee required due to COVID-19. Then I was like, is this a scam? Are you, are you scamming us? Are you just stealing our money? And he's like, no, no, no. But when daughter Casey did a little investigating, she says she found out there was no flight ever scheduled. There was no puppy. That's when I looked at my fiance and he looked at me and I just cried. I knew at that moment that we were taken. It's been happening around the country. Cruel con artists preying on families desperate for a new pet to keep them company during the pandemic. He's this cute little tan dash hound with bright blue eyes, this cute little chunky legs, and I knew he was it. Krista Schaefer fell in love with this puppy named Oreo she also found online. So the high school biology teacher shelled out $500 to buy the little guy. Once again, there was an unexpected fee, $750 for a special crate the breeder said was necessary due to coronavirus. I'm not sending you money. I don't have $750 more to give you. When the breeder stopped answering her calls, she knew she'd been taken. I couldn't believe that this was even possible. I didn't know that you can make a fake website and sell fake dogs to steal people's money. Unfortunately, puppy scams are on the rise, according to the Better Business Bureau. People are at home, they're quarantining, they're alone, they want company. Uh, you know, they think they're going to be adding a pet to the family, and instead they get scammed and they lose money and they have nothing to show for it. Now Krista and the DeVoogs hope to get the word out so other families don't get scammed. People are just mean in a very bad time. We were duped.